Welcome to Arizona State University's Global Freshman Academy. This video will cover the topic, Domain of a Square Root Function Advanced. Let's take a look at this example. Here we are asked to find the domain of the square root of negative 9x plus 54 using interval notation to write our answer. What's the definition of a domain? The domain of our function g of x is a set of values that make the square root of negative 9x plus 54 a real number. This means that the square root of negative 9x plus 54 is a real number whenever negative 9x plus 54 is greater than or equal to 0. So the domain would be given by the following inequality. Negative 9x plus 54 is greater than or equal to 0. We can simplify by subtracting 54 from both sides, which results in negative 9x is greater than or equal to negative 54. And for our final step, we can divide both sides by negative 9 in order to solve for x on one side of the inequality. When we divide both sides of inequality by a negative sign, we flip the inequality sign from greater than to less than or less than to greater than. Finally, we result with x is less than or equal to 6. Is this our final answer? The answer does give us the domain, however we are asked to write it using interval notation. Thus, we must write it as negative infinity, comma 6. We begin with the parentheses because it's not equal to any specific number, and we end with a bracket since our domain is equal to 6. Let's take a look at another example. Here we are asked to find the domain of the square root of 2 plus 2x using interval notation to write our answer. So would the domain be 2 plus 2x is greater than or equal to 0? Yes, that is correct. We then subtract 2 from both sides to solve for x, which gives us 2x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Then we can divide both sides by 2, leaving us with x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So would the domain for this problem be negative 1 to infinity? Yes, exactly. And we begin with a bracket because it's equal to negative 1, and end with a parentheses because it's not equal to any specific larger number. Okay, so let me get this straight. We begin by setting everything under the square root greater than or equal to 0. Then we solve for x in the inequality and express our result using interval notation. That is correct.